Then it's on the guitar, and I'm not never going. You don't think going in another time can be on the left, saving you on the down, nipping on the thing, can't see anything going on that. Some your body. Now, of all of the many qualities of the Buddha, they can be um, condensed into the three categories of omniscience, um, altruism, or loving kindness, and power, or potency. In terms of omniscience, which is also uh, wisdom knowledge, um, the mind of the Buddha is a mind which understands how to place all sentient beings, as limitless as space itself, in the status of permanent peace and happiness, and knows precisely how to employ the methods to see to the liberation of all beings from their different types of suffering. And so this is the type of benefit that is derived from achieving that same state of awareness. And this is in context of the wisdom quality or this quality of omniscience, of absolutely knowing how to set sentient beings free from suffering and place them in permanent happiness. <laughs> But in addition to that, um, the Buddha also has so many noble qualities which are all the result of the development of perfect altruism <coughs> mentioned in the three. And so this quality of loving kindness or compassion is absolutely essential as well. You can't just have omniscience or wisdom without compassion, otherwise still there will be no true benefit and the methods employed cannot be of true benefit. For instance, even an ordinary person, even though they may be very learned, if they have a rough character, um, then they really can't be of very much benefit to others because they're always putting others off and so people would not be interested to listen to them even though they may know a lot. If their character is rough and offensive, they're of no benefit. And so loving kindness and compassion must also be present. <laughs> So if we were to think about the kind of loving kindness and compassion that the Buddha possesses or the, the, the mind of the Buddha experiences, then we use the example of the love that a mother has for her only child and multiply that by hundreds and thousands of times. And this is the type of love that the Buddha has for all living beings. How is it that the Buddha was able to develop this level of loving kindness and compassion? It occurred at the time that he himself was training on the path, the path to become enlightened. Um, as a practitioner, during that time, he always trained um, in the practice of being of benefit to others and cherishing others more than himself. And at the time of his enlightenment, because this was always his practice and aspiration, he was enlightened in the state of awareness of totally loving and cherishing others more than oneself. <laughs> Okay.
vodki na na bum trakare. Ti je nemam kupos. Jema vodki na na. To give you an example of how it is that the Buddha you know, dedicated his life to um, others and would give up his body time and time again in, in his uh, pursuit to develop this level of compassion, even after he was enlightened, um, when he then went to Varanasi, to the famous deer park, where he gave his first Dharma discourse which is known as the first turning of the Dharma wheel. At that time, um, in order to express his um, compassion for the benefit of others as well, there were boom truck mumbo drinks on. He actually uh, took off his own head, removed his head in front of many hundreds of thousands. Jumdandi <laughs> And there are many, many occasions, um, not only just in Varanasi, but um, in many other places in the world where the Buddha gave his body, gave parts of his body, gave the blood from his body for the benefit of other beings, just simply exchanging himself uh, for the sake of benefiting others. <laughs> However, it was never a case where the Buddha would express loving kindness towards those uh, who he was close to, such as his relatives or those disciples of, him, of his who were already attracted to him, and not show loving kindness to others. On no occasion was this type of uh, biased uh, conduct ever, ever displayed by the Buddha. <laughs> example, there was one time, one occasion, where there were two gods who were confronting the Buddha, and one was offering, making offerings to the Buddha and expressing offerings and devotion, and the other god was a demonic king who was trying to harm the Buddha. And on that occasion, he, he dealt with both of them equally and displayed loving kindness and compassion towards both of them uh, impartially. <laughs> Remember, 
And also, uh, it was never a case where the Buddha's loving kindness and compassion was greater for those who were in higher positions or had more endowments and was um, less for those who were weak or poor or meager. Never was there an occasion where the Buddha showed this type of partial um, kind of partial experience of loving kindness. In fact, it was just the opposite, that more often than not, he was always more kind and uh, showed more compassion and love and concern for those who were in need. So Lord Buddha's loving kindness and compassion was never limited like those who are partial towards uh, their own people and or their own race, such as those politicians. <laughs> because those leaders, those political leaders, usually express their gratitude and their kindness and their appreciation in front of thousands of people when there's some benefit to them. But if they really see a few people who are suffering, they usually don't pay any attention to that. <laughs> Because the loving kindness and compassion of the Buddha, even if just one sentient being was in need, many times over he could give up his life and his blood again and again for just one single being without ever having any regret. Um, at the same time, for thousands of years, if the need be, unceasingly, the Buddha would continue to express loving kindness and compassion for those beings who are in need. And his, his expression of loving kindness and compassion is absolutely unrivaled. <laughs> Tai Tini <laughs> For example, um, one time when the Buddha was in the hell realm, and his name was Karma Rupa, and he was plowing in the field with the other um, 
beings who were in that experience of the hell phenomena and undergoing the sort of tremendous torture of, of laboring there indefinitely. And those messengers of the hell realm were beating them and forcing them to labor unceasingly. And at that time, he had, he had such a thought that if only all of the suffer could ri all of the suffering of the other beings in the hell realm could ripen upon him at this very moment and then the uh, messenger of hell just smashed him over the head with a hammer and he fainted and then after he revived from that he was reborn on the 33rd god's realm then you know that dealer son of Donna, who know that said of Nama, Nama Nams and Tears, Tuck the Jum than the dealer, no one by his somnery. Scoots it, Dilay on an open by his somnery. Thieves in the Chetana, that Congo, Kutukla, and the Manzimber, Pembroke to be sat there and see young Germany Bartower, dead Don Zabari. He was always trying to hide him with that. And he's found out. I was at the previous, previous one or so many, so many points. And he always tried to harm with that. Did he? And so even, even those kind of things, he was still, he always holds me. Also, there is, there is one god who is a de demonic god, Lachin, who was always trying to harm the Buddha. And even from previous lives, it was the historical that there were so many occasions that he was trying to harm the Buddha and bring him some kind of harm and get him to react. But on every occasion, he never showed any adversity or t any type of a reaction and just continued to show him more and more loving kindness and compassion. Dina Jumden de la Tirtavi, Tan Kinbad, Sevi, and then yet to Yotta Zenga. Then to Nibi Yundan the Dilgon and Nipa made Nana, Tan Kinsi, Yanaka Kan of Kinamar. So in this way, the Buddha possessing um, this unrivaled omniscience and loving kindness and compassion, it is still not complete without power or potency. Nipa made Nana, Tarin Nana. Margan Mukir, Lakway, or maybe Tagan was a grand with the cheekers on a dinner, Yarji, and some give me a bad girl to Zingana. That the chew with the leader of the Maritavian that Nibe made now, Simjan and Yamzi at some gi and Pantobay or the Marit. Like the example of the old woman with no hands who sees her child being carried off by rushing water and has such an experience of inconceivable compassion for the child and can do nothing about it but watch. And so like that, even though one may possess knowledge and this altruism on the level of the Buddha, without power or potency, again, the method is not complete to help sentient beings. <laughs> <laughs> 